but somebody's got a gun running around out here. I thought it would be sweet to shave the beard off in the airport. If Puerto Rico was not a U.S. territory, it would be, what, is, what was the word? It would be, there'd be a travel, travel ban. Travel ban right now. Are you serious? Because such a high spike in homicides high and spike. crime. It is 4.30 in the morning, a.m. Headed to the airport with Lily. She's just a dropper. He's I'm a, a dr driver. The driver. And John. Let's go. We are saying goodbye to the snow. Though, uh, sad. It is a sad moment to say goodbye to the snow. Headed to the airport. Are we all ready? Ready yep. to go. Thank you. Love you. It is 5 a.m. in the morning, and this place is so lame. Holy crap. John is 50 pounds on the back. I think on Spirit we're only allowed 40 pounds. John, you have a small child in there, I think. Did you have to pay more yeah. for being overweight? Yeah, 30 bucks. Why Why is this a large? Because I don't know what I have. I got 30 basketballs in here. <laughs> to walk past the dog. He's just smelling you to see what's happening. I don't know what that means if we are cleared for something, but anyway. He's not getting this Swedish fish, that's yeah. all. Yeah. What? My food's still in my bag. How you doing, bro? Great, nice beard. Thanks. I thought it would be sweet to shave the beard off in the airport, because you see all YouTubers do that. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Not gonna happen at all. I'm supposed to find Lily and John. She's trying to get donuts. Thank you so much. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Still doing okay. Doing okay. Orlando Airport in breaking news like this is not a joke. Someone just came through the terminal check-in. We'll have more details by the time I edit this, but somebody's got a gun running around out here. We do want to turn now to the chaos erupting at Orlando International Airport. Look at this video. It shows families running for safety after authorities say a man tried to bypass a security checkpoint causing panic. I'm going to go scope it out though. Well, you're coming with me. Be careful, don't die. Yeah. Don't die, these are things, last words. A man tried to bust through a security checkpoint Saturday afternoon. Passengers waiting to go through security hear the commotion and take off running. Look, this is this is a sea of people out here just hanging out because of all of the craziness here to Orlando because of the security breach. People hunkered down right here. It sounded like it was a fight because there was just a lot of commotion going on. And 
yeah, tables being flipped over, and then all of a sudden, you know, you hear this pop, pop, pop. There's like a stampede of people running. Me and Andrea hopped the counter to hide the back of Chick-fil-A. I've been in airports where it's caught on fire before. Never for a security problem with somebody running around with with a, a weapon. How are you doing today? Good. Time to go home. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I hope everyone's all right at this moment. I don't know the details of what happened, but now to Puerto Rico to meet up with the rest of the team. We haven't told you already. We're meeting with 30 other people from Minnesota to do a camp and to help with the relief effort of the hurricane that happened a couple years ago. Rhea is the first Category 4 to hit there in nearly a century. 150 mile an hour winds ripping buildings apart, knocking out power everywhere. All of the electricity is out tonight. We have arrived in Puerto Rico now to change, put our shirts on, and meet up with the rest of the team. This is a shirt we gotta wear. Time to get it on. Oh, there we go. Let's get after it. We've uh, converted into the team swag. Now we're locating our vehicle to take us to a little town that I can't pronounce because I'm a green guy. What's up, bro? You all right? Hola. We have arrived in the location where we will be spending the remainder of the time of the evening. Like, night fell upon us quickly. Hello. I'm Scott. Nice, Scott. nice to you? meet you. Just gonna leave our luggage right there. We're just gonna leave our luggage. Perfect. Right there, that seems interesting. We just got done with all our briefing. We're down in Puerto Rico, and I'm just gonna, we're gonna interview these two after hearing that death is like just around every corner around here. Okay. How, how, so how did you the feel? The first thing that comes to mind that I have to highlight that he said, if Puerto Rico was not a U.S. territory, it would be, what, is, what was the word? It would be, there'd be a travel, travel ban. Travel ban. Travel ban right now. Are you serious? Because such a high spike in homicides. High and crime. Like, I'm, I'm totally, I was, I was freaked out for sure. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm not mentally prepared for this. No, I, yeah. Not at the time. I mean, I work out a ton, and I'm, you know, thought I was good, but this, this is a little nerve wracking. Are you being serious? No. Yeah, he <laughs> totally <laughs> is. He, no, yeah. Wait, did you catch that? I don't work out at all. He's nerve, he's nervous, but he doesn't work out. Are you being serious? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so good. This is the beginning. Of the, I can only imagine. We don't know where we're sleeping. So. Yeah, we're yeah. We're still waiting. We're waiting for room assignments. This is the barracks for the next, I don't know, it's five days. Here we go, spinning around, just a bunch of guys on bunk beds. My bed. out there ever shave a beard off with just this it's painful we're gonna try to make it as fast as we can let's wrap up the day we're gonna go to sleep we're gonna start another day man if you're amped to see what we're gonna do here in Puerto Rico subscribe to the channel we're always telling new stories new content tomorrow will be nothing different than today. So we've had a gun. Yeah. We had snow and ice. Did did you snow see the icing in Minnesota uh, back in Minnesota? No.